good beautiful morning ew please excuse my haggard appearance i finally got my butt up before work and went to the gym today was only partly successful because i don't have to go to work until two but i decided to treat myself and get myself a coffee because i deserve it fun story so i frequent the starbucks often at least when i lived at home i did and like to the point where i like knew the baristas by their name which i guess isn't that impressive but they like redid this i haven't been inside yet but i saw i don't recognize anyone anymore did everyone like grow up and move on <laughs> i'm kind of sad okay now i'm at the gas pump because i have to drive to work and i ran out of gas really quickly but figured while i'm here i would plug this website it's called gas buddy you uh, type in your zip code and it gives you a list of all the gas stations and their prices you can find the cheapest one also i wasn't supposed to get paid until tomorrow because today's a holiday but i just checked my checking account and we're gonna fill up a full tank today that's all i gotta say i've never looked so gross while filming okay i'll see you guys when i get home we out here drinking from my holiday mug which might seem a little silly considering i bought a drink that comes with a cup already, but the trick is to get a cold brew without water. Either add your own water or almond milk to it, and then you have a bigger drink for a cheaper price. Since I'm inside every day, all the time, I'm trying to sit outside for like 10 minutes while I drink my coffee to get some vitamin D and a healthy summer glow. Look at how flippin' beautiful the sky is. However, it has not been the best for sun tanning. So I was going for a chill, natural look so I could go to my friend's 4th of July party after work, and this is what we ended up with. I might have to leave for work in a little bit. I'm going to just put away my laundry like a responsible person instead of letting it sit there and wrinkle. I'm only gonna be at work for like four hours, which kind of sucks because I'm like going all the way out there, but also it's nice because I'm only working for four hours. That also means I don't get a lunch break. Super exciting morning we've had today. I am really good at this thing where if I have any extra money, I will spend all of it and then hold out for like the next however many days till I get paid again with like three dollars to my name so I am going to do my very best to not do that um and that's why I am trying to kill time at home before I go to work because I know if I go to the mall early that I will want to go and like buy things so I'm going to put away my laundry and then I'll probably leave when I am done with that so I'm not late yesterday I watched set it up it's about two assistants who try to set up their bosses and then their bosses pull a Cyrano and do the same to them. And basically in that movie, there's a line where they're talking about like when you have a lot of time before you go do something and you go and like do something to kill time and then you realize you kill too much time by doing the thing. That's kind of what I'm really afraid of here. I'm a Russian to put my clothes away, but whatever. All in all, a productive morning, I'd say. I'm really impressed. We out here, we're leaving on time, go me. I also just looked at myself in the mirror before I left and it kind of looks like my eyes are swollen or something is wrong, but that's okay because it just represents the state that America is in, you know? Yesterday someone returned a shirt that said HBD America, which is like kind of cute and fun and quirky, you know? And then one of my coworkers, I showed it to him and he was like, does that stand for how about that, America? And I was like, no? Okay. I think the original meaning was happy birthday. I'm gonna go listen to NPR politics podcasts and be edumacated about the world and America and the potential Supreme Court justice announcement that may or may not be happening on Monday to replace Justice Kennedy. Why are there so many cars here? It is the 4th of July. Like, go home and celebrate with your family if you don't have to work. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, so I'm technically still on the clock, but I'm in the, like, operator's booth, and I feel like I'm in a movie, but really I'm just ready to get out of here. 
I've been waiting all day to eat my one hot dog and lots of desserts, and that's really all I'm looking forward to. So, yes. We out here broadcasting my voice throughout the entire store. This is horrible and I really don't like it. It's the end of the night. My laundry basket from this morning is still there. I'm not looking my greatest, but that's okay. After work, I just drove straight to my friend's house because um, I was late, they were already playing water games without me. Um, and then we just ate, hung out, watched the fireworks, which was super fun. <laughs> Fourth of July is one of my favorite holidays to celebrate with my family just because we're like all together and we're like playing games and eating food and ice cream. It's just a lot of fun. I had a really great time and I am so exhausted. <laughs> it's been a really long day and I have to get up early to open tomorrow morning. I'm ready to take a shower. I'm ready to put on a face mask and I guess import this footage and edit this vlog. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys had fun watching. I think that's gonna be it for the vlog today. I cannot believe it's already July. The summer is halfway over. The 2018 calendar year is halfway over, which is insane to me. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below anything you want to say. I'd be happy to read it. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Happy 4th, y'all.